I firmly believe that cost is the biggest inhibitor in, in aviation today and that our goal when we started out this, this airplane project was naively to build a $75,000 airplane. We can't quite do that, but it's going to be under $100,000 for a, a very capable airplane, autopilot, uh, glass cockpit, radio, navigation capabilities, um, the things that today's customers, I think, really want. A lot of times, uh, in aviation in particular, um, something like a, a new airplane will have made it its name out to the public years and years, maybe even a decade before they're actually able to produce them. Um, we didn't want that. We wanted people, when they know us and see us, that they can buy the airplane today. We're basically offering two models to the flying public. The first is a 99.5 kind of our top end model with everything that you could possibly get is uh, 114. Those prices, again, are based on we think that this is what the industry needs, a low cost airplane that is fun to fly. You have a complete glass cockpit to play with. As the younger generation uh, moves into flying, they're used to being behind their iPhone. So they, they want that, they want to see the glass. One of the things that I think we have as an advantage over many of the companies that have, for example, built a light support airplane is that we can afford the equipment, we can afford the time, we don't need to fund the company on customer deposits. So we have a pretty straightforward goal of, of building a sub $100,000 airplane that you want to buy. One of the, the design goals was having very good flying qualities, and having good flying qualities means that we want to reduce the amount of adverse yaw, we want to reduce the amount of friction in the system, we want to have a good amount of aerodynamic centering uh, with the controls and have adequately sized controls. But we ended up with an airplane that we feel is very well harmonized about all three axes of rotation of the airplane, pitch, yaw, and roll. It's also big enough, the seats fold down and you can, uh, I'm six foot tall and I can lay down and sleep in it. My chief engineer is 6'3 and he slept in it as well. You can uh, take the front wheel off of a bicycle and get, in it, get it in the back. So we have a ton of, of cabin space in the airplane. The prop is turned by a um, Continental O200D. It's a lightweight version of the O200. You know, it just works. The O200 has been around for a long time. It's something that flight schools know and love. It's spacious, it's modern, it's sleek, it's cutting edge, it's up to date. You know, it's, it's a modern airplane. Sometimes we do long cross country flights, so this airplane has a ton of room. Two, you know, normal sized guys can get in here and have plenty of shoulder room and it's just really comfortable. We're going to showcase the airplane at Oshkosh this year. Um, we looked at several different venues for making our debut. We felt strongly there's no better venue than Oshkosh to come up with a new airplane. We're going to bring five aircraft uh, and they'll be for sale and people can fly away with them if they choose. The mission is one of interest and excitement in aviation and I think we have a product that will do that.